What color is his hat? Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be posting a video on how to run Lodeen games uh, through HyperPi PC. Um, now this tip was actually a comment on one of my previous videos and I want to give a big shout out to ADS427. Uh, thank you very much for the tip and uh, I hope this can help out a lot of people. Um, I know I've had someone on my Patreon and I've been trying to figure this out for them. Uh, for quite some time. Finally, um, yeah, ADS427 has given us the information on how to do this and this is awesome. So let's get right into it guys. So first thing you're going to want to do is put all of your loading games uh, inside of your HyperPC ROMs Wii U folder. So I'm using Wooks but we can also use loading games as well. So, loading games are the ones that you're running through an RPX file. So, once you have them all into your ROMs folder, I'm using Super Mario Maker as an example. Um, what you're going to want to do to make sure your artwork matches, so we're just going to go into box art, and you can see here Super Mario Maker USA. And I already have it matching, but make sure your folder name matches the same as your artwork, your box art, snap, cart art, and wheel. If you have all of that artwork, whichever artwork you're using, make sure it matches this, fold, this folder name matches. And we're going to open up the folder, and you're going to have to do this for all of your games. Go into the code, and you're going to have an RPX uh, file. You're going to want to name that the exact same name as the folder we just named. So I named the folder Super Mario Maker USA, and I'm going to name the RPX file to match my box art, wheel, and snap. So go ahead and do that. So you're going to have to do that for all of your games. Um, and once you've done that, what we're going to want to do is back out, back out, and we're going to go into Attract, Emulators. And we're going to scroll down to Nintendo Wii U. And we're going to open it up with Notepad++. So right now we have our ROM path. And I'm going to show you guys we're going to have to add a ROM path for each individual game. But first thing we're going to do here is add a ROM extension. So after this, make sure you've got... You can have the LNKs, we're not using those, but WUD, WUD, WUX, WUX, and make sure there's a semicolon between everything. So after this last WUX, we're going to do semicolon, dot, RPX. And then we're going to hit save. Now, I'm just going to minimize mine. So now we're going to want to go back to our ROMs folder. So ROMs, Wii U, and we're going to go into one of our game folders. So I'm going Super Mario Maker, code, and that's it. So then we're going to highlight the address bar. So you're getting this whole line here all the way up to the word code. Right click, copy, and then open up your Nintendo Wii U dot config file again. And when we go to ROM path, after we have this Wii U, we're going to do semicolon, and we're going to paste our game name. So it should look just like this, if you're doing Super Mario Maker. If not, then obviously this will be a different name, uh, whatever game you're doing. Now let's say I wanted to do another game, if I, if I happen to have one. So this is how you're going to do all your games. You just continue on from here. So again, you would do semicolon. And then you would go back, and let's say this was a different game. I would have it look like this. So let's say it was Super Mario 3D World. Let's just say it's that. And I would copy that again. And after my semicolon between folders, I would paste it in. And you just keep going with all your different games until you're done. So it's going to end up with a really long line, but that's okay. That's what we got to do. So we have to do it per game. So 
I'm just going to leave the one because I just have only one game right now. Once you have all your stuff in there, and don't forget those semicolons, guys, to separate. So we'll hit save, close. Now we're going to go to Hyper PC, and we're going to launch it. So if I go into my Wii U, I already have Super Mario Maker, but your games may not show up. First thing you want to do is hit Tab, Emulators, and we're going to scroll down to Nintendo Wii U. Press Enter, and we're going to scroll down to Generate Collection ROM List, press Enter, Overwrite, Yes. Now we're going to back out, and I'll back out again, and then we'll go into Wii U, and your game should be there. And let's start the game. Let's see if this will, let's see if this is working. Mine's probably going to take forever to load, but that's just uh, my crappy computer trying to record, as I've mentioned in many, many videos. But I work with what I got. And there we go. There it is running. I just have everything muted. So I'm going to escape from that. Escape. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you get loading games running in HyperPi PC. Um, I really hope this was helpful. Again, a big shout out to ADS427. Thank you very, very much for the information. I hope this helps out a lot of people. Please like the channel uh, or like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a good day, guys.